Dr. Endar, I know I was sort of wondering about the longer term structural dislocations, but now it's really the immediacy of the Delta variant that's causing all the problems. Yeah, indeed, Heidi. We spoke to a lot of manufacturers in recent weeks and we asked them what is their outlook now as we head towards the end of the year and as Delta spreads, like you mentioned. And the message from all of these manufacturers was that actually they're girding for the long haul now. They don't see these problems with shipping containers being resolved anytime soon. They continue to complain about shortages of key input materials for their products. And of course, there's ongoing disruption as they try to get their products around the world. And remember, we're going into the all important holidays or Christmas shopping season now. So this is bumper time for consumer manufacturers and for shippers. And both of them are saying that there's a log jam out there. And that will, of course, continue to have an upward pressure effect on inflation. And it will, of course, have a downward effect on the global growth recovery. I was going to say, I mean, this inflation surge was supposed to be transitory in the words of the Fed. So what are the implications for global prices? Well, I spoke to several manufacturers who all made the point that, in fact, they will be increasing their prices and they are increasing their prices for the wholesale uh, buyers of their, of their product, Sherry. So there's no doubt the pricing pressure does remain there. Secondly, another theme that came out of these discussions was how fragile the supply chain remains. For example, factories are getting closed down overnight due to outbreaks of Delta. So that means production needs to be moved overnight to a different location, maybe in a different country. We know that ports are very fragile in China because of the very aggressive zero COVID strategy. We've seen that in Yantian, we've seen that in Ningbo. So things have to be shuffled and moved overnight. And that costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to move things around, as one producer said to me. So that's why there's pressure on their prices. And that's why there is a concern that will eventually flow through to the high streets.